All right, so now what we are going to do is go over to the next activity called Use Steganography Tool. We took some information about that CompTIA logo, okay? So now what we're going to do is hide an image inside of it, and we're going to observe how the hash file changes. So first things first, let's double click the silent eye icon. And please keep in mind, I did not close out my went with my hash file over here. I just minimized it. So double click silent eye. We are going to select, we're going to hit file open. We're going to navigate to our CompTIA logo. So we need to go to our PC. Well, we need to go to the C drive. So what I'm going to do is click this toolbar. Hit C, hit Lab Files, and select this CompTIA logo. Okay, now that we have it here, I'm going to select the Encode button. Okay, because I'm going to encode it, this picture, with a file or with, with a phrase. Now, I'm going to type the same thing they have here. The password is Courage. And then we're going to change this to 100% JPEG quality, the quality of your picture. Um, the better the quality, the, uh, the better use of steganography. Okay, and then we are going to select encode, All right? And that's going to take a while to run. You can see this spinning spinning bar, but it looks like it's, or did I do that? Yep, it looks like it's done. Okay. So we're going to close this out. All right, and we're gonna open up File Explorer because we're gonna analyze the JPEG file. We gotta, we have to go, the new, the new JPEG file. We're going to select inside of this and clear it out and select this T so it can type in this home path, hit enter. And we can see the new CompTIA logo was saved here. Okay. So now instead of, let's open it up first. It looks just like our, like the original. Okay. Just like the original. Now let's look at its properties. Now, what about the properties has changed? I went back to our previous section. Look at the file size. It's changed by about 30, about 30 kilobytes. Same as the size on the disk. And obviously the time it was created and modified has changed. But we can already tell without analyzing the hash that this file has changed. And we know that it's changed because we just embedded or encoded a phrase inside of the picture. Now, I'm gonna go back to our activity, mark all of this, this. Now let's go, let's open this back up. Our MD5 tool, if you don't remember where it is, open up File Explorer, go to the C drive, go to Lab Files, and scroll down to WinMD5. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is, oh, let me open this file explorer back up one more time. I'm gonna go back to the C drive, All right? Um, I actually need to type in home path again. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is drag this new CompTIA logo, the one that we just used to hide an image inside of, we're gonna drag it over to WinMD5, right? And then we're going to select verify. Now this is the new hash of the CompTIA logo. This is the original hash of the CompTIA logo. We can already look at it and tell the difference. 
and the tool has detected it is not matching. Okay, we have just validated the integrity of this file and it failed the validation because the hash is not the same. Okay, and that's typically how our tools, some tools are automated where they don't have to do all of this clicking that we're doing. It's going to automatically verify if hashes have been changed. Okay, and if a hash has been changed, we know this could mean that the data was tampered with, the data inside of the file of what the hash belonged to. So I'm going to see you all on the next section.